Hi, I'm Darren Perry, Director of Technical Support at Supreme US. This video covers some common issues related to cementitious wood fiber roof decks and includes guidance when re-roofing buildings with these decks. Cementitious wood fiber roof decks consist of preformed panels made from wood fibers and a cementitious binder. Produced since the 1940s, these panels were manufactured under brand names such as Tectum, Permadec, and Fiberplank. Tectum is the most common brand found here in the U.S. today. Cementitious wood fiber decks are commonly found in public buildings such as schools, gyms, auditoriums, cafeterias, and other buildings where sound attenuation and acoustics are important. These deck panels serve both as structural roof deck and exposed ceilings. Roof membranes installed on these decks in the past typically consisted of a nailed base sheet. Then a multiply built up membrane was installed above using asphalt or coal tar pitch. Gravel or slag was typically applied to the roof surface in hot bitumen. Over the past few decades there's been an increasing demand for roof insulation. So the membrane base sheets evolved into an anchor sheet or a carrier sheet used to secure the insulation to the roof deck. And asphalt was commonly used as the insulation adhesive. But today insulation is typically adhered using ribbon applied low rise polyurethane foam adhesive. The gravel surface built up roofing is also less common today. Multiply modified bitumen and single ply membranes are more prevalent now. So when replacing roof coverings on old decks, there are a few things to consider. Damaged deck panels may need to be replaced or repaired. When removing the old fasteners, there can be some minor damage. This becomes difficult when uh, replacing the roofing using nailed base sheets in the future uh, to try to avoid these holes left behind by the old base sheets. The uh, deck joints between panels also prevent challenges with uh, fastening new roofing and specifically in perimeter and roof corner areas where there's uh, enhanced attachment. The uh, traditional nailed anchor sheet often falls short of current wind uplift resistance requirements. And it can be difficult to find published ratings to demonstrate code compliance. The most efficient high performance attachment method for roofing over these decks includes adhering the insulation boards or a substrate board directly to the deck using polyurethane foam adhesive. The adhesive is applied in ribbons and the application rate varies, so refer to code approvals for the wind uplift ratings and the ribbon spacing. It's important to set these boards into our Suprema DuoTac adhesives immediately before the uh, adhesive has time to skin over while it's still wet. Since these old decks uh, vary quite a bit, it's important to examine adhesion performance for each project. You can conduct a simple uh, shovel test to examine the quality of the adhesive bond. The adhesive ribbons uh, should uh, spread, uh, uh, spread out about two and a half, three and a half inches wide, and you should always see adhesive remain bonded to the, um, to the deck surface. That indicates there's a good bond to the deck itself. Also, a quantitative 2x2 or 5x5 foot field uplift test may be needed for some projects based on specification requirements. Supreme has a variety of system options for these decks. Uh, Polyiso insulation may be adhered directly to the deck, but Suprema recommends installing a soper board or gypsum board uh, first uh, adhered to the deck, then install a vapor tartar air barrier or temporary roof membrane to that. Uh, the temporary roof membrane applied to the substrate board serves to dry in the building and also provides a tough working platform that's often needed to make building repairs. And some of these building repairs can include replacing deck panels, replacing wood nailers, replacing the rooftop equipment, and uh, repairing or replacing roof drains. Many roofing professionals are reluctant to install materials adhered directly to these old decks. They're concerned about removing adhered materials in the future. But removing these materials uh, really can be accomplished without any damage to the deck panels. Adhered materials can be removed with less damage than traditional fastening methods, the base sheet fasteners or other type of insulation fasteners. 
Suprema leads the industry with our tested, rated, and approved systems that are adhered directly to these decks. And uh, we really like to focus on adhering the gypsum boards or Suprema SOPA board, uh, uh, substrate boards adhered directly to the deck with a vapor tartar or temporary roof membrane applied to that. We have tested, rated, and approved solutions for these temporary roofing membranes published online. And these temporary roof membranes uh, are approved uh, for insulation adhered above as well as lightweight insulating concrete. Uh, these building renovation projects are often complex and require professional design services. Uh, refer to our published code evaluation reports to help demonstrate code compliance, uh, compliance with the International Building Code, the Florida Building Code, Texas Department of Insurance, or other specified project requirements. And our supreme roofing options include SBS and APP modified bitumen membranes, as well as PVC and KE single ply membranes. Uh, contact your local Suprema representative for more information related to these and other low slope roofing solutions.